thank you very much, um, Sa uh, Senator Mahoney. Senator O'Donnell and Senator McLaughlin, I believe you are also yes, going to share uh, time. Yes, I'm going to share six and two. Uh, six and two. Last that's agreed. Goramaygit agus ayra goramaygit hain the false road agus the faru na false creole riv eight shoe deta in Saint Gallery Lynn in New Dun Jisbrakt. Minister, uh, thank you for your contribution. Uh, I listened to it and, and I couldn't help but think uh, of Einstein's definition uh, of insanity. Um, keep on trying to do the same things over and over again uh, and expecting different results. Um, you talk to us about um, the issue of the solar panels uh, and electricity and water into the occupied territories as if Israel isn't uh, and therefore you aren't led to believe wouldn't continue to shut off and control people's water uh, and electricity. Um, you talk to us about advocating strongly for a commercial, court, a, a commercial port uh, in Gaza, knowing full well what happens to fishermen in Gaza, knowing full well what happens to children when they're playing soccer on the beach. Uh, in Gaza. Uh, so with the greatest respect, I don't in, uh, doubt at all your bona fides uh, in this regard, but uh, I don't share, uh, based on fact and reality, um, your hope uh, in, in that regard. Uh, Minister, you also cite uh, the peace process as cause uh, for the state not to support this bill. You then go on to outline in your own contribution the litany uh, of executions, slaughter, mass murder, uh, the imprisonment of children uh, in military uh, courts the continued demolition of homes um, and further illegal incursions into Palestinian lands. Minister, there is no peace process in the Middle East. So I actually think it's a flag of convenience, it's a cloak, it's a cover to try and use that as an excuse not to support um, this bill uh, today. And you have said that you don't want to place yourself uh, on a particular uh, side or be accused of being partisan. Sometimes in peace processes, and I said this the last day during the debate, we need uh, to place ourselves in a particular partisan position. Sometimes we need transformative uh, decisions to be taken on the international stage. The most glaring example and the most obvious example and the most relevant example in our own uh, peace process was when the British government, the European Union, the intelligence agencies, both domestic and foreign, to the USA were telling President Bill Clinton not to grant Jerry Adams a visa into the US. So all of the great and the good, all of the so-called experts, all of those who are actually opposed to the advance of dialogue and a peace process said, don't do this. But what was required was a decisive, definitive, political decision to be taken. And we have seen um, the fruits of that decision play out and the impact it had in our own. So I would put it to you, Minister, that you need to take a definitive uh, 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 decision in this regard and you need to support uh, this bill. You cited two, Minister, uh, legal, political and practical effects as reasons not to support the bill but to oppose it. And it struck me, Minister, that not once did you mention the morality of this issue. Not once did you mention, and maybe I'll be heard, uh, Chair. Sorry? Maybe I'll be heard. Yeah, uh, I'm, yeah. I'm trying to get you heard. Yeah, sorry. It's quite noisy in here. Yeah, yeah. thank you. So, thank you. Um, not, not once was uh, the issue uh, of the morality uh, of this bill. Sorry, can I, just say, I, I think what, what the leader was discussing was the possible extension. I've asked him to extend the time. Well, I welcome that, if that's and, the case. And, and the leader is given the opportunity, he'll interject on that. But just we have to have quiet in the room when the, when the speakers are speaking. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Minister, you then go on further uh, to say what is uh, and isn't within your legal gift to do, and of course that's contested by Senator Black and those of us supporting uh, this bill, what is and isn't in your legal power to do in this regard, and even if we were to take that at face value, uh, uh, Tanish, what is within your legal gift to do is to adhere to the will uh, of both houses of the Oireachtas and to recognise the state of Palestine as the government is mandated to do. What is within your legal gift, Minister, is when all of the slaughter uh, that you rightly and factually outline uh, has taken place is to expel the Israeli ambassador from Ireland, given your quick reaction to do so with the Russian ambassador of late as well. Sorry. For a point of clarification, the state did not expel the Russian ambassador at any point. I think it's important on a debate of, of this import for us to be accurate. There's been a whole series Thank of inaccuracies you, that we've just heard from the latest speaker. Well, well there hasn't been a series of inaccuracies uh, from, from me, uh, Minister. But I'd say this, even if I was to take you it to your word. You need to exaggerate for effect. Well, uh, well no, I'm not exaggerating, Minister. Sorry. Minister, Minister there is no need Sorry. to exaggerate this issue. Because this uh, issue is hugely exaggerated, given the volume of slaughter uh, that is happening against the people of Palestine. So that is the intention of this bill. 
It's not to put you under any political pressure. It's not to make you uncomfortable. It is to stand in the proud lineage of the Irish people in the opposition of apartheid. And this minister has done that the whole time, to be fair. Sorry, to can I just have uh, Senator O'Donnell without that. interruption, please? Thank you, Chair. I appreciate uh, your guidance. Left. Well, I will finish uh, on this. And I have recognised what the Minister has done, and I recognised it previously, Leader, but I'm not going to get into a ding-dong with you because this issue is far too important for that, with the greatest respect to you. And, and listen, sorry, sorry. Listen, I'm going listen, to have to insist that we just chair, have whoever is yeah. on their feet speaking in this House, please. Thank, Thank you. you. And you'll have to conclude presently. And through, Thank through, you. Through, through the Chair, we have acknowledged, and the Minister acknowledged, and I concede also, that people have deeply held and passionate views in relation to these issues. So you would at the very least afford us the courtesy and the opportunity to express those deeply valued and held views without the kind of interruption that we've seen. So in conclusion, uh, I'll ask Carly, uh, Nelson Mandela came to a joint sitting of these houses in the early 1990s, and he said, he said what made the practical difference uh, on behalf of the Irish people was definitive action from the people, was a boycott was solidarity. And that can make the difference here with this bill before us, uh, uh, before us in the House uh, today. The Minister asked and posed the question, where would su him supporting this bill leave him as an Irish Government uh, Minister? It would leave him on the side of right. It would leave him on the side of Mandela. It would leave him on the side of justice. So I would encourage the Minister, the Government and colleagues in uh, Fine Gael to look at this bill again. To, to look at what is happening you, uh, in Palestine, to look uh, at, at the will of this House and, indeed, I believe, the will of the vast majority of Irish Thank people you, who want to see us take this you, uh, mode of solidarity. Senator McLaughlin has two minutes.